I saw this when we had this garden style out with Jenny, our, our um, team buyer, the head buyer, and then all of her team. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to talk about this. This is the answer. Whether you, you plant flowers, whether you plant herbs, whether you're someone who no longer has either the space or the capability, or you find like my strawberries, someone eats my strawberries all the yeah. time. This gets them up off of the ground. It's brand new, first day we're presenting it. We're giving you four months if you use any major credit card, but if you use your Q card, then you can even have less payments, or smaller payments, I should say, smaller, more frequent payments, six easy pays. Pay it off when the bill comes, doesn't cost you a penny more. There'll be three colors for you to choose from, but first, let me introduce our guest once again. Jeff Meyer is back. Jeff, every year you bring us really fabulous things, and I know that you're a passionate gardener. I am. Among other I'm, things. I'm a farmer, farmer like Dan Hughes, yes, too. you're a farmer. I saw this. I said, I have to bring it to QVC. Thank what you. we have here is 18 different compartments. First of all, it's on wheels. So when it gets cold outside in the Northeast, you can pull it inside so your plants don't have to die. Two, it has irrigation through it. All you do is hook this up to your garden hose, your faucet, and it has drip irrigation, yeah, which drip slowly irrigation. Yeah. makes everything the right amount of water. You're not dumping a bunch of water on, having it go all over the place. Three, it's a great incubator. If you want to start things from seed, that's what. Do it on this. This is the if, time of the year. To yes, start if those we seeds. had this on the ground, we'd be taking up a good portion of mm -hmm. this area here. So it has two sides. We have nine planters here. We go from the smaller ones on the top down here. These are about a quart and a half down to the two gallon on the bottom. Now, what I have at home, and I didn't want to bring mine in because I didn't want to kill them. It, it's right. so cold yeah. outside. Yeah. So luckily, I had a few things here. Mm -hmm. And then the good people at Roberta's were nice enough to give me the wall of Roberta's right here. And what we have here is we have their gardenias on the bottom, which are really fragrant and beautiful. And then we're going up to some of their most beautiful flowers. How about the strawberries? Mm -hmm. If you just planted this with strawberries and fruits, you could have strawberries or fruits year round. Yeah. And then as we go up, I put some flowers in here. But then on the top, at home, I have all my herbs. This is basil. You have your parsley. You have your oregano. You have your thyme. If you did one side, just in things that you enjoy with your food, year round, because even three quarters of, the, of our- Let's walk back this way, because I'm not sure that everybody- Three quarters of the states get so cold. Yeah. Oh, you're not sure everybody knows Yeah, I want works? you to understand what yeah. you are getting, because here's the thing. I know it's an investment. But this is something you can use year round, you can use year after year, That's and this it. is a solution to, I don't want to get down and, and I don't have the capability to dig a big garden. I totally get that, what you're talking about. This is something that's very easy, and we'll show you the inside. So you right. choose gray, you choose green, which is sort of like a mossy green, minty mossy green, and here's terracotta, you tell us what you want. When it comes, Jeff, how do you put it together? And this is going to take you a good 10 or 15 minutes to put together because okay. there's just so many pieces. There, there's 18 different compartments right here. But what you get is this is the small guy right here. See this in the bottom? Let me pop that out. So you have irrigation on the bottom so you don't have rotting from the bottom of the plant. That's very important. In any good planter, you're going to have that. Now, this is modular, so if I wanted to take that inside maybe and, and clip some oregano, so I, could, I just would pop I it off. plant. Yes. Take this. Plant these yes. and put these, and then just snap them right back And then back maybe on. start something new here. Now, what you see right here is the irrigation system. This is a drip irrigation. Drip, drip, Healthiest way. drip, really slowly. Because if you ever notice you water your plants, all the water runs out the bottom. But if you have something around it, it soaks it back up. Well, drip irrigation is the number one way to go because you're not going to overwater them. As you see a little water come out the bottom, that's probably three or four minutes into it, you know to turn it off. Then we have the larger guys down here. So we have 12 of these. All right, what size are those are these? pots, would you say? Those, those are about a pint and a half. Okay. These, these are about a quart and a half to two quarts, okay. depending on how much soil you put in. And there are four of those. And then the down bottom. here, we have a two gallon size. You can plant your tomato plants in here. That's sort of like a small, can you do this for sure. a second Let's if take you it wouldn't out. mind, Jeff? Absolutely. Um, so that you guys can see. Do you see this? This is sort of like a storage unit, if yes. you will, that a lot of us have. The difference is, it's does it- powder coated it, steel. Yeah, it not only stores things, but what you see here, that's the drip irrigation. Right. Now, what do I do and how do I connect that? Here's a quick connect. You're gonna put this on your outside, you know, whatever your spigot is, just spin that on, mm -hmm. that, that to your hose, and that pops in. Put this on the end of your hose wherever you want. You're gonna have this water every day. 
in the house that you'd have Always to either have, have have a fitting that fits that and okay. they make those for your uh, for your sink okay so, so just go to anywhere the you go but the beauty place. of this is for a lot of the country here we know when they say hey frost is coming get your plants inside right. they often die it happens to me every year so what you'll be able to do is wheel these inside and the fact that it has wheels on it pat if they're getting too much sun have you ever, oh boy, my plants are, you can just wheel the entire well, guy over into the shade. Exactly, and yeah. you could wheel it and then wheel it over to the water source and then wheel it back. So whether we're talking about, you know, um, pretty flowers, so whether we're talking about an herb garden for you or tomato plants, or how many of you love Roberta's Vegetalis? Last year, it's like those mini um, compact plants. I did mini eggplants and peppers, and I can't even remember all the things yeah. that I did last year. And I did them in something similar to this, but this gives you 18 opportunities to do something. Uh-oh, this already is very popular. In gray and gray and terracotta, 200 each. The pretty green, um, once these <laughs> plants get going, you probably won't even really see the pots, but these are reusable, so you don't have to worry about that at right. all. There's also that drainage tray in it. And in case I didn't so explain good. this correctly, you're going to put this on the end of your garden hose. It's a quick connect, so when you put that on your hose, when you go to water, you pop that on, leave it on three, four, five minutes, everything is watered. If, if you had to pay for all the plants we have in here, it's hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And unfortunately, we're not able to water them properly, or we dump the water on top and it runs out. Right. This or is we gonna let you, water. Yeah, or year round, you're gonna be able to have great herbs, mm -hmm. like strawberries that we look at. Here's you know what you thing. like at home. It may just be lavender, because you'll right. love the fragrance. Absolutely. You don't have to be a great gardener to get used to this. No, you don't. You don't even have to take <laughs> the things out of the original pot if you don't want to. You could even put things in pots down here and take them, you know, use this. This is vertical gardening, a lot and a yes. little space could not be more convenient and it has been designed for the health of the plant and for your success as a gardener. So great, so well said, yeah. It's, it's all about making gardening easier. And again, in the Northeast, come September, all our uh, things we have outside start to die. So I often I used to bring in my uh, herbs and things. Mm -hmm. Now year round, I put them in a sunny window. I have it by a sliding glass door. Here's the large container on the bottom of which you're gonna get two. And you see that drainage part on the bottom so no roots are gonna rot, that's really important. Then you're gonna get four of these. Also, this is about a two quart size, really big. And then you're gonna get six of these. Did I do no, you're gonna get 12 of these. Yeah. See, there's so many, two, you're four, getting six. 18 different Both containers. Mm -hmm. So when you take that and you put it on wheels, now you can put it where the sun is or maybe in the shade. The fact that it's a self-watering system, you're not gonna go out. If I, had, you have to water Definitely. your things. You have the watering can, it's going all over the place. Well, this and is in just the house, that would hose. be a disaster. And then the, the dirt, dirt is not going to yeah. flow out. Do you know how many times you've yeah. watered yourself, you go, oh, there goes all the dirt, because mm -hmm. it's too much pressure. This will just trickle in and keep everything perfectly watered. 600 of you have already dialed in the terracotta. 100 remaining and then that's gone there's you know lots of times we don't see things then again until next season <laughs> that's exactly the gray true. five dozen and then that's gone and then that green is very pretty don't worry about that it's sort of your per personal little um hot house if you will sort of um your garden center and it takes up very little room there you can see what jeff was talking about yeah. as far as being able to water it the other thing is how many of you teach how many of you have grandkids this is just so great to kind of cultivate that love of gardening m5756 and pat if you do need the basil you just take it mm -hmm. into the kitchen clip what you need Take it back out, it'll be watered and get that sun, and that's why you'll have great fresh herbs, strawberries, everything year round. Fantastic. I knew you all love this as much as I do. The gray and the terracotta almost gone. Um, if you have to end up with the green, send us pictures. We want to see it. It's really exciting. And start with seeds this time of the year. I never had a place. That's right. You can start this that. inside yeah, in a window yeah. in the Northeast, have all your seeds going by the time you want them done, Pat. Thank all you. All right, so still to come uh, from Roberta's, we've got